takes them away to a place up above. It all comes down to one piece of it. Hey everyone, Knife in the Water, single of the week, S O T W. Um, this song um, appeared originally on as a bonus track. It was one of the four bonus tracks on Modes of Transportation Volume 1, uh, the 20th Anniversary uh, Deluxe Edition. Um, I wrote it and recorded it probably in at the end of the 90s, and <clears throat> when I was putting together the, the Deluxe Edition of Modes Volume 1, I was digging through a bunch of my old um, my archives, and I found this song. I played it for some people, and I'm basically re-releasing it now as a single because I got a really good response from it. And so, in fact, I shot an entire music video for this song. So it's we're, and we shot it in Atlanta, and the, with my friend David Field, he's got this. Um, incredible it's like a virtual reality type 360 camera and the way that we're he's using this technique is pretty cool because the video itself is not a 360 video meaning that what he's done is kind of like even though we shot it in 360 it's um he then chose what parts of the 360 you know the viewer sees and then he also kind of like did these incredible edits within the 360 kind of universe that um it you know there's a bunch of shots in the music video that look like they were shot on a crane and just the way that he's um kind of maneuvered these shots it, it's, it's it looks um it looks very futuristic and it's it's definitely definitely look out for it the video is going to come out in like a couple of days actually probably on monday or tuesday so look out for the knife in the water uh, music video about the songwriting sometimes I'll, I'll start a song just with the song title itself like I will sit around and I'll just kind of reverse engineer and in other words I start trying to think like well what does this title mean blah 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 and some and you know sometimes it'll just literally be something that I just grab from something else um, in this case knife in the water is a um, it's a 1962 black and white Polish film. Um, it was Roman Polanski's first, his debut movie, and um, it's, a, it's a brilliant work of art. But I, in fact, I wrote the song without even had seen that movie at the time. So, and I think there's something really powerful about when you have these really simple objects, um, like, you know, the, a knife and water, which by themselves are, seem very harmless. And then, but there's something about when you take these very simple objects and when you put them together like knife in the water, it just, it's, it's very powerful. Suddenly it's like, that sounds kind of, immediately sounds kind of dangerous. It sounds like horror. Um, I don't know, just a very powerful title. And I sort of built this fictitious vintage detective story based on just the title alone. And, um... Yeah, I mean, I think another thing that's unusual for me in this, in Knife in the Water, is that there's there's this, that funky, like, slap bass, keyboard slap bass uh, bass line that's looped, and it's, it's basically the same. It's the same bass line throughout the whole song from beginning to end. I think there's maybe one bar where it, it like, goes, it's transposed a semitone or something, so... You know that's definitely a bit unusual uh, for me, and um, and there's you know there's no guitars in it. There's, it's just the whole thing. I, I actually sequenced and created all the music for that song on on the Triton, the Korg Triton uh, keyboard. I don't know if some people might remember that one, but again, that was like when I once I uh, sort of graduated from the EPS 16 plus. Then I got the uh, Ansonic ASR-10, and then the, my next keyboard after that was the Korg Triton. Again, it's a workstation keyboard. It's got, and uh, you know, you can sample on it, but it also has amazing sounds built in. And that, for me at the time, that was really exciting because I didn't have to load sounds from a floppy disk into the machine before I could even play. So you know, I turned on the keyboard and I had strings and drums and everything in there. Anyway. 
I'm definitely pretty old school when it comes to my love for the workstation keyboard. I mean, I'm, I don't actually know anyone who still uses a workstation keyboard. I, I find it actually kind of, um, I, I find it very off-putting that the MPCs now and all the drum pad kind of units that there's, you cannot actually, they're all just MIDI controllers. You can't actually physically have the sounds within the unit. And, you know, I'm just, I'm getting old, you know. Please send in your questions and comments. I'm probably going to make a, a video next week regarding uh, <clears throat> my guitar chords. Um, someone was asking me about what are the guitar chords in um, Overhills, and they're kind of co <laughs> pretty complicated. So that's going to be, uh, that'll be next week. So again, single of the week is Knife in the Water. It's up on Spotify and all your favorite digital music streaming services. So check that out, and I will see you next Friday. What if this man kills a person you love, takes them away?